All right, let's do this. Look, the big man himself, the fat goblin on his chariot versus Count who fucking knows because I don't. I don't play Vampire Coast. I don't know who that is. Anyways, here we go. Three of those rock lobbers. Orc shaman hiding in the bushes. Orc boar boys hiding in the bushes. Savage included. Along with some forest galvan archers. We got ROR's from all sorts of all walks of life. We're trying to finish off Caronades. I don't know how to pronounce that shit. Gunnery White is hero, providing plenty of support to his cannons. And they're doing work on my boys. I don't fight Vampire Coast too often. My record with them is not too bad, but in land battles, not so great. I don't know what he's hiding in there. I'm not. F oh, Count Noculus. Count Noctu. Noctilus. Noctilus. Sorry. Count Noctilus. New lord for me. I've never actually fought Count Noctilus. And boy, are we taking care of these deck droppers. These things are annoying. They're doing a great job against my ROR. Er, against my ROR. Against my... Well, yeah, they are doing damage to the ROR. Rock lobbers. Rock lobbers are taking beatings. Oh, they're going to be taken care of real quick. But these spider riders should do work against these deck droppers. You just stand there and take all the damage. And as a green skin player, I know flying and large units are a problem. When it comes to accuracy, we are not good at it. As you can see, as we unload onto the ground, missing all our shots. Yeah, I felt like coming in there with the uh, with the Grom, doing some leg work. I never really use Grom. Never really use this kind of build. Not domination. Domination, you want some more sturdier, tankier units. But a rush build like this wouldn't be too bad. Something I plan on bringing eventually. But for now, we're in land battles and we're going to try to bring these deck droppers down. These carronades as well. As he spends healing on them just to keep them alive. Which I don't blame him. Don't want my units to go running off and dying. Alright, we're mobilizing Rhea and then... Trying to deal with this standstill. This artillery faction's already annoying. We're gonna speed things up till we get into position. Spider Rider's taking nasty damage. Gonna mobilize those savage orcs in the back. And those squigs hiding out in the forest should be there. I notice all his stuff in the forest once my orc shaman gets in there. And I don't mind if he starts dropping things on the orc shaman. That's what he's there for. He's got the foot of Gork and he's ready to go. Grom doing in some Cleveland Count Noctilus coming in to deal with Grom. No surprise there. I'm surprised he brought, brought Count Noctilus, but I mean, I could have went anything. I could have went Wurzag. Oop, there we go. The first foot of Bork. Uh, Deckhand Mob, probably not as useful as it should have been. Definitely should have used it on those pole arms. Those are going to be the problems. Or even the gunnery hand cannons. That probably would have been better. Way better. And here we go with the rush. Coming uphill. Trying to back off all these summoned units. Bam. Alright, Grom, get out of there. Get your fat self out of there. Start healing. And then we're going to bring in the real damage dealers with these squid herds. They should be able to round out everything else. As we just run through everything. With our savage boys. Yeah, this deck pole arms are finally getting out. We got our spider riders in the back providing support as well. Here they come. Oh, Grom, don't go back in. You're getting shot. Come on, buddy. There's plenty of deck mobs to shoot <laughs> or to run through right there. There you go. There we go, right into them. And once we get into them, the squigs will do the rest. Beautiful. Deck droppers are so annoying. Okay, sending in those. Yeah, my team are destroyed all the trebuchets or just basically their weapons for those. Those artillery units, so I just sent them in as cannon fodder. Not a bad choice. Better to have some use for them than nothing. Deck hand mobs could just destroy these already. Come on. Get them board boys. Get rid of these cannonades so they don't provide any more support. Squig herds are in. We are in. We got the wog going. Everything should be dead now. Oh, yeah. 
his freaking lord though here's the thing though i didn't know he had a hero because i see everything he's got and i think oh he's got no large units so these savage orc big guns don't really have a spot so i just send everything at count inoculus he's got no winds of death he's got nothing really uh, AoE type effect like my foot of gork right here. Here we go. Deckhead mobs be gone. Fuck. Boom. And that's just not, it's not even overcast. I don't need overcast with these boys. I should have waited till these other ones came in too. But it is what it is. Preemptive foot of gork. And we're doing work. We're destroying this army. Ground with all his stuff. His ward save. His sundering. Everything. Squig herds are doing all right. Looks like we actually got this. It looks like we're doing pretty good. Countinoculus, though, is a bastard. He just won't die. Yeah, this is probably... Yeah, it's going to be a problem. And those Savage Orc big guns should be hitting his hero right now. This pole arm's going to do as much damage as they can while they're still around before I crumble them all. And that was the plan. We just destroy his army and then leave his lord last hopefully to get him through without that perfect vigor of his there we go language of the boys the great ones is here uh i like brown not bad not bad at all he's got healing he's fast he hits like a mac truck and deals with infantry so i don't see why we want to bring him for some uh action out in domination but yeah, Count Noculus is kicking ass. Kicking our ass. Good! We're running out of ammo. And he is one tough bastard. Even with the squig hurts, he's still not dying. <laughs> We're getting Grom himself to deal with this nonsense. That hero of his needs a go. But we got nothing for him. Nothing. Look at that rock lobster. Three boys are suffering. No! Mm. They're crumbling his stupid units, and we still. Somehow he still has units. I thought we got rid of them all. Come on. That's okay. My boys are getting routed, but they'll come back. They fight well. Jeez. Even. Wow. Even Grom's suffering. Bam! There goes that foot. That should take care of all that. It looks like we're pretty even. Uh, team are still up just a bit, but once these boys get in, dealing with this gunnery white, we should come back a bit. Shaman and them dealing with that horde of deck mob pole arms. Yeah, we're not out yet. I ain't hear no bell. Grom's still looking all right. He can still heal up as we cut through these boys. Honestly, I feel like I should have brought. What is that? Um. The one that provides a plus 40 melee attack. Or maybe some spells to deal direct damage to Noculus. Yeah, we're talking about this after the match. What would be some good units to deal with single entities or heroes, lords? Uh, the goblin hero and the orc hero would be ideal. The melee ones, the sneaky ones, the fighty ones. Especially if you're bringing on the spider. Or the goblin variant. Yeah, the orc. Not yeah. It's not an orc war boss. I forget what it is, but it's an orc one. Just being able to handle this stuff would be nice. And they're pretty cheap at, at least on foot. You can get them for what 800. It wouldn't be bad. Come deal damage to these big hero type characters with all the support. Definitely could have traded in those trebuchets or the yeah. Not trebuchet. Well, they are trebuchets. Little rock lobbers, though. Definitely could have done it, especially with a mobile army like this. I don't know how much a cannonades were worth taking out this early when we could just bum rushed. And I just wasted time just protecting them. But yeah, we're going to fast forward, try to grind through these things. But we're not going to be able to get through it. Nah, uh, Noculus is just too much. And our boy is fold. Fold to the stupid leadership. <laughs> Grom didn't get his value, but you know what? It is what it is when you're killing zombies. Shaman did. Although I want to replace the rock lovers. 
They did get some of their value. Well, some of them did. Others just got shit on. Yeah, with the mobile army, I probably could have done way better with the heroes instead of these lobbers. But yeah, I hope you guys like that. Sorry, green boys always... They're always 50-50. Uh, you never know what you're going to get. Win, lose, who knows. Especially against Vampire Ghost. A very unfamiliar foe of mine. But yeah, I hope you guys like that. Like, sub, come back for more. We always got more. With all that said, peace. Have a good one.